Hello, this is Chris Menard. The other day I covered Excel's brand new function, XLOOKUP, which came out in September 2019. Right now it's only available to Office Insiders. And I found out apparently not all Office Insiders have it, but hopefully in the next two or three months, all Office 365 subscribers will have XLOOKUP. I want to specifically cover today how to do wildcard searches, plus I'm going to compare VLOOKUP and INDEX to XLOOKUP to see how they work. So let's start off with the wildcards. And in case you don't know about XLOOKUP, I'm just going to do this one time. Equals XLOOKUP. I've got a data range in A1 through F9. I'm trying to find my name. Where could my name be? I'm going to highlight B2 to B9. What is it going to return? I could return any column. As I pointed out the other day, XLOOKUP will look both right and left, and VLOOKUP doesn't do that. But in this example, I want the salary. The default for XLOOKUP is false. If you want to see the video I did, it's a pretty long video, but I've got a lot of views on it on XLOOKUP, how it works. Click up in the top right corner, the description, and a link to it will also be down below. But I should get 300,000. That's a nice salary. Let's change this to 125. There we go. But now here comes the wild cards with XLOOKUP. So I want a bit to just type in my first name of whatever employee, doesn't have to be my name, and get their salary. So it's going to be equals XLOOKUP. I'm looking up C13, which is only my first name, so I'm going to join to it ampersand, a wildcard search, which means anything after C13, comma, the lookup array, still B2 to B9. What are you going to return? XLOOKUP has five arguments. I'm on the third. The last two, because they have brackets around them, are optional. I'm going to go ahead and close this and press enter. And I believe I'm going to get a pound in A. This is, this is where I'm headed in this video. And I do. The reason is, I actually need to use this fourth argument. So I did a comma after the F2 through F9. The default is an exact match, but I want to use a wild card. So I need the number two right there. I should get 125,000. And I do. Let's test it. Let's put in Brandy. Brandy is 301. So there is one wild card, and the key is make sure you do the fourth argument. Alt down arrow will show you your arguments. There is your wildcard character match. I did first name. I didn't care about the last name. Now this one's even better, this example. If you notice in column A are employee IDs, and I have those set up as text, because I have leading zeros before the number. So let's go ahead and make it work initially. I'm going to make that text real quick, real fast text. Here we go. Equals X lookup. A2 through A9. What do you return? I'm going to return the salary. So this obviously should work. Perfect. One more test. 0, 0, 0, 2. 150,000. Great. Here's the issue. What if I just do 002, I get pound in A. So let's do a wild card search here. So I'm going to start with X lookup. I don't care about the leading zeros, so I'm going to add the wild card in front of it. Ampersand, join it, comma. I'm looking up this range, comma. What do you return? Watch this. 
I actually don't even want to return the salary this time. I showed you that just a second ago. I'm going to return the name of the employee, their position, and what region they're in. VLOOKUP cannot do this. But don't forget, this is where people make the, going to make the mistake. You've got to put in the number two. If you don't do that comma two for a wild card, it's not going to work. So I should get uh, Carol, event coordinator in West, going to the right. Perfect. How about that? Isn't that cool? So there is that formula right there. There's a wild card leading so I don't have to put in the zeros and also included multiple columns to return. Now let's talk about VLOOKUP and MATCH versus XLOOKUP. And I see this a lot of times. So over here I have a list of names. And next to the list of names, I've got the North region and the West region, but I could have North, West, East, South, Midwest. So let's just do a quick, let's just do a quick uh, V lookup to show you this equals V lookup. I'm looking for my name, comma, my table array. This is what drives people crazy about V lookup sometimes is you got to hide the whole thing. I'm only looking for North. I got to do the whole thing. But I'm looking for north, so I would do the number two. I should get the answer of one here. I do, and see, I actually made a mistake. You need to use false in that V lookup, so there's that. Let's test it real quick by typing Carol Martin. I get a number two. Perfect. So there is V lookup working with it. I'm not going to label, but here's X lookup doing that. I'm looking for Carol, comma. Carol can be here, comma. What do you return? I'm looking for North. The default for X lookup is false, so I should get a two with no problem. I do. But that's not where I'm headed. What I want to do though is put in Carol Martin, and I'm going to look for North. So here I go using VLOOKUP with MATCH. So what are you looking for? Carol Martin first, comma. Where could Carol be? This is what frequently throws people off. Is normally, I got to hide the whole range, comma. What column index? So I'm looking for north. So I'm going to though add MATCH. Looking for north, comma, where could that be? Look up array. Comma, zero, close, comma, then I gotta do a false. Carol Martin, north, two. Let's test it, let's make it west. I get the number of five, change it back to me. For west, I should get four. And then for north, I should get one. I'm going to put that function over here. When I am training people, some people have a hard enough time getting B lookup, and then you start getting B lookup and match, or even index and match, and it is not a good experience sometimes initially, unless they have the skill set for that already. So there is that one. So the question I had that someone asked me from my video the other day is, can I do an X lookup that handles the V lookup with match? And the answer is yes. So here we go again. So equals X lookup. And to me, this is just cleaner than what I just did. I'm looking for my name in this range. Comma, here we go. I'm going to just put in another X lookup. I'm also looking for the North region, comma, and that can be up here. Just a lot cleaner. Comma, what are you going to return? Well, is this data here? The default is already false. I'm actually already perfect right here. I should get the number one. 
I do, let's test again. Let's change to West. Four and four. Let's change to Carol Martin. So here is this. There is an X lookup inside of an X lookup because I'm looking at a cross tab data. I'll be honest with you. Everything worked and the X lookup was a lot easier. But one of my webinars that's coming up is really you shouldn't be setting up your data this way right here, which I just selected I1 to K4. Um, you should have name, region, and then whatever those numbers represent. So you should only have three columns because if I was doing northwest, I could have east, midwest, and run this out here. So I'm going to show you how to quickly use the data tab get and transform to fix this data the way it should really look. Anyway, there are your answers though to XLOOKUP versus VLOOKUP and MATCH. And I also showed you how to use the wildcard. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have webinars coming up. Uh, go to my website and enroll and I'll just shoot you the emails for when the webinars are. Thank you for your time. Everyone have a great weekend.